everybody welcome to the channel in this video I am going to show you how to prevent contamination so if you make beauty products at home it's very very important that you prevent contamination meaning you make sure you sanitize your desk and I'm going to show you in this video how to properly sanitize your desk and wait a minute before you leave this video I have a tip that I'm going to share with you before the end of this video so that you know when you make beauty product you are so sure that contamination is reduced uh, microbes also are reduced uh, bacteria mold and yeast they are reduced to the minimum and that will give you some form of peace of mind when formulating so the first thing you want to do is to sanitize your desk okay make sure the desk that you're going to use is sanitized you can use alcohol wipes okay Disinfected alcohol wipe is okay, or you can use isopropyl alcohol. So it's very, very important that you wipe your desk. It's very, very important. That's your first step. You can make sure the desk is wiped. Apart from the physical death that you can see, right, you are reducing the number of microbes. Okay, that will have access to your beauty product, which is a good thing. So that's your first step. Your second step is to make sure your beakers and everything you're going to use are already washed. Make sure everything you're going to use are already washed. So once you have washed them, the first thing you want to do now is to spray them. Isopropyl alcohol is your best friend. Okay, isopropyl alcohol is very, very good. So I highly recommend it. Look in the description box below for everything I recommend in this video. So make sure you have your gloves on. Nitride gloves are perfect. Okay. They are perfect for use at home. Okay. Very, very perfect for use. They are blue, mostly blue or different. It depends. But mostly the one we use in the lab are blue nitride gloves. Make sure you have that on. And for each formulation, you use a set of glove, and when you're done, you throw it away. So, then, these are your beaker that are already washed. Anything you want to use already washed, make sure you spray them with 70% isopropyl alcohol. To save money, use 70% isopropyl alcohol. So, <clears throat> I have my sterile here, so I'll make sure I spray them. I will not be wiping them. I'm just going to spray them, leave them like that. Spray all my beakers. Don't wipe them. I'm going to let them here dry. Because in the process of wiping, you may not be able to get rid of some of these pesty microbes. Okay. Spray everything. 70% isopropyl alcohol is very, very recommended. You need to give yourself time, so let everything dry okay everything you want to use washed and spray and let them here dry before you continue your formulation this is going to make your life a lot easier because doing this you are reducing the amount of microbes that are on your desk and on the stuff you are going to use so that is your first step so you're going to need sanitizing wipe if you do not have it the wipes to save you money just uh, you can use paper towel. Just make sure you de uh, dedicate this for your formulation. Then spray it with your wipe. This is uh, a replacement for sanitizing wipe. Then you use it to wipe your desk. If you don't have a wipe. Then once everything is done, let's say you are not formulating today, you just want to get ready for your next formulation. Another thing you're going to need is extra large freezer bag. This is for home-based formulators. If you are in the lab, it's a different board game entirely. But because most of the most of my um, subscribers here are home-based formulators, this is going to help you a lot. So get yourself extra large freezer bags. Not the large. I don't have that right now, but extra large freezer bag. So once everything is uh, usually that's hundred pieces in it. So enough for a month, depending on how much you formulate. So get it. From the box and once everything is dry you want to store them so i'm going to store this one 
And for, it's just for demonstration purpose. I just spray this. So I, sh I will allow them to hair dry. Once they're dry, you package them, okay, in this Ziploc bag, okay. And you have to be gentle with your beakers so you don't break them. So you package them just like that, as I demonstrated to you, and make sure you zip, up, you zip it, get out all the hair, okay, and zip it. You keep them in your bucket. Maybe you're going to get a dedicated bucket where you're going to be keeping most of this your stuff. It's going to help you. It's going to make your job a lot easier. That means everything is ready to go so that anytime you're ready to formulate, you just bring it out, okay, bring it out. Take everything out and you continue to formulate without stress. But make sure you allow them to hair dry. Do not wipe them. I've, over the years, I've come to realize that the process of wiping, so if you have to do this, I don't recommend it. You have to do this. I used to recommend it, but over the years, I've realized that allowing them to hair dry is your best bet. Okay, and make sure you use 70% isopropyl alcohol. Okay, 70% isopropyl alcohol. Allow them to hair dry. Once they're dry, you are good to go. So, this is what I want to show you in this video. Make sure before you formulate, reduce contamination by wiping your desk. First thing you want to do is to wear nitrile gloves. Okay, it will not lynch into your product. That's what it's meant for. Then, wear it wipe your desk make sure your beakers are washed dry okay then you're going to spray them with 70 percent isopropyl alcohol they, it's also called rubbing alcohol spray them and allow them to hair dry then if you are ready to go you can use them lighter and if you're not ready to formulate yet put them in a new ziplock bag extra large okay everything i demonstrated to you today are linked in the description box below for your for your usage so see the link in the description box below for everything i showed you today make sure you do this anytime you want to formulate don't say oh i'm at home no problem no you know microbes can be anywhere and they are the m number one thing that mess up contaminate our product sometimes you'll be like you know i use uh I use preservative but yet my lotion is still growing mold that is the problem with contamination so make sure everything you're going to use is well cleaned sanitized spray with isopropyl alcohol these essentials are very important for you so make sure you look in the description box below to get them you need them to save you from future headache that's about it for this video if this video has been of help to you give me a thumbs up click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more helpful content for you as a formulator. Thanks for joining me and happy formulating.